Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, my channel name is Shy Town Girl, and this is Miss Kalua over here. Well, you can't quite see her because she's doing what she does best. Actually, let me kind of aim my camera down. There she is, doing what she does best, which is hanging out, watching mom, and Auntie Linda, do you see what she's got over there? I'm telling you, girlfriend, that thing does not leave her sight. So bear with me while I readjust my camera here. Hopefully you guys can still see me. Um, I'm sure you can see this hair. I have no idea. The only answer I have is I fell asleep with my hair wet and I had it kind of like twisted up and this is what happened. So for today, I am stuck in the 80s and I'm totally okay with that because those of you that know me know I am an 80s girl and I am super proud of it and nothing's ever gonna change it. Okay, so it's Thursday. Um, here in the East Coast in the Hudson Valley, yes, the sun is shining. You think it looks kind of nice out there, but then you go out there and your nipples go blink and fall off in the snow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was the first thing that came to my mind and I'm totally not gonna edit that. Um, hopefully I gave you women a good laugh or men because men have nipples too, but it was like holy crap It's cold outside and I just had this little sweatshirt on and I was outside with Kalua and she did her business and booked right back in the house because every morning this spoiled thing gets breakfast so she goes out does her thing and comes back sits down doesn't have to be told and will wait for her English muffin or her bagel. I know, she's a spoiled rotten thing, but I love her to death and I don't know what I would do without her. I'm hoping that you guys can see her. Let me kind of give you a little better view. There she is. Auntie Linda, do you see what she has under here? <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a toy that Miss Linda, let me just fix my camera guys, I'm sorry, I probably screwed it all up. That's a Christmas toy that was given to her, one of many, from one of my subscribers. Her name is Linda, and she lives in Flushing, New York. She doesn't go anywhere without that thing, even in the car now, Linda. Okay, so enough chit-chat. I have a Dollar Tree haul for all of you, and I am so ready to share. I did find some items that I didn't think I was going to find, so let me just start with a couple repeats. <laughs> I am... I feel so bad because I've shown these like the past four times I've done a video, but I love these things. They are so good. Um, these are the Crespini and these are the sea salt. I know the couple of times I've shown this, I said, oh, there's another flavor. I know it is. I double checked yesterday when I was out and about and yes, the other flavor is sesame. So they have the sea salt one, which is the one I'm showing you right now. And then they have another one, which is sesame. This is a product of Italy. Oh, they're so good. They're, even the way that they're shaped here on the box, they're shaped like that. The um, the sea salt, sorry, I have like a fuzzball or a doggy here. Um, even the sea salt, it's not too much, it's not too little, it's absolutely perfect. If you have not had a chance to try these, they are the bomb. I This is like my 12th box, and I mean that literally. Um, scary these are good until november 11th of 2019 so you got plenty of time um there is no msg but for anyone that's interested two of these breadsticks is a total of 1.5 grams of fat cholesterol zero but sodium is 180 so just be careful for those of us that have to watch and we all you know, getting older we have to watch these things happen okay let me stay with food and treats um Guilty repeat again. I love my bubble gum, so I had to get some more of the eggs. These are made by Double Bubble, which has been around forever. Expiration date on these are all the way in through 2020, so it's gum, people. It's gum. I throw one of these in my car. In fact, my purse is so big, I can throw one of these in my purse. Um, I just enjoy it because Double Bubble, for me, I feel last long with the flavor and you guys know gum you put a piece in your mouth you chew it for 30 seconds it's like whoa you know it just somebody needs to figure out how to make gum that lasts with some good flavor they'd be bazillionaires anyways this is a four ounce box it's the one that's out for easter easter baskets or beth's purse i'm sorry did i hit you with that i'm sorry mommy's so mean 
moving on with some sweets. These, I didn't see the past couple times I was there. These are the Tiger Pops. You get 22 in a package. There's 22 Pops. They're Easter Pops. These are obviously artificially flavored. I was looking to see if it was gonna tell me some flavors, but it doesn't, but it looks to me like they're pretty yummy. They're individually wrapped. This is what your package looks like. And I'm gonna try to get that glare off for you. And they are actually in the shape of Easter eggs and they're all different colors as you can see inside the package. Again, a great item. I ended up actually purchasing two. Another great item to attach to Easter baskets, gift cards. It's, you guys know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so should I say it? Of course I should say it because that's what makes me, me. It's all about the presentation. It really and truly, truly is. That's where it all begins. Okay. Let me, um, let me just grab some more sweets. Excuse me one second. My bad. I'm not quite prepared as I should have been because I didn't realize Miss Clue was going to join me. But hey, that's okay because I know you guys love her too and so do I. She's my bestest friend in the whole world. She's your mommy's girl. Yeah, it's a mama's girl. She is such a mush mush. Oh my God. This dog is just... Oh. I can't say enough about her. <laughs> okay, this is a repeat purchase as well. I love my Mike and Ike's, but at Easter time, they put out this one that I love the best. It's got grape and strawberry, lemon lime, cherry, and pineapple banana. It is a five ounce package. It's done in purple. You guys know me. I, I'm such a purple pig. <sighs> purple pig I am. But um, these are the bomb. These are fat free and gluten free and what a cute you know what tie a little ribbon around this what a cute little thing to put on a co-worker's desk or just that's me outside the box again <laughs> okay i did oh i found these lollipops here they are i'm gonna open oh you know what i should have pre-done this i'm bad i'm bad but you know what let me um let me see if i can show you this the best i can these are 2.26 ounces. They are lollipop bouquet. What you get, and are, they're all individual sticks, so you just cut them apart, do your thing. But, oh, I don't think that the camera's gonna do it justice. You know what? I'm gonna open these up and then re-show them later on to you. But anyways, they're a set of lollipops. You take them apart individually. I just feel like I can't, you know, show you that as well as I'd like to. So I'll go back to that if we have time. Okay. As far as Easter baskets go, there's all kinds of Easter grass and fluff, and we all tend to go for that super, super pretty stuff. But obviously, when you can go to the Dollar Street and get it for just a buck, you have your choice of all different. But also keep it, pay attention if you care. I'm just putting it out there. When you go for the ones that have like the shimmer and the glitter and all that, you're getting less in your package. I'm sure you probably see that from the presentation, but just, just be skull conscious of it, because if you're going to pay a buck, get at least your buck's worth. These are two ounces because they're smaller because they have more of the glitter. So this one's all done in a very pink metallic. Love it. And then we had to get the blue to go along for the boys or girls who like blue or whatever. And these are very pretty. This one happens to have... It's, there's a few little shreds of colors in there, but not very many. Blue is the most predominant color. With this pink one, there are some purple, which you can see some darker ones, but pink is your predominant color in this one as well. This is also great for um, decorating as well. I'm just gonna pile my stuff on Kalu. Okay. <clears throat> I found these inflatable cup holders. They had the, if I remember right, they had these out last year. Um, I never found them, never saw them in any of the Dollar Trees, so I snapped them up real quick. So, this is an inflatable cup holder. For those of you that have pools or go to people's pools, um, inflates to a 9.5 inch. Inflates. Okay, so you have to blow it up, and then it gets bigger. Basically, this one is, can you, there we go, perfect shot, a pineapple. I'll flip it around and show you the back. So there's your colors. I then found, excuse, oh, hair. I then found, this I guess would be considered a palm tree. 
Let me get a good shot for you. There you go. Lots of beautiful colors. Look at all the purples and the greens and the pinks. This one's rocking the colors. So there's another shot. Great thing to bring if you're invited to a barbecue, a pool party. Grab some of those. Bring your beer, wine coolers, pop, soda, whatever you call it. Bring a few of these in there. Great little hostess gift. Just me, just saying. Last but not least, my absolute favorite. <gasps> Ta-da! Thrifty Tiffany. <laughs> I know she would love this. Look at that flamingo. And then there's the backside. It is super, super pink. Look at that little face. Isn't that adorable? So, so cute. All right, moving along. <clears throat> Wild and free. Look at these new little tins. They had like five or six different designs. Of course, I went for the unicorn. These measure. Yes, the ruler's out. I'm going to say eight inches because it's that close to eight inches, literally. Um, eight inches by two inches. Here is what the front looks like. Let me get that glare off for you. Isn't that adorable? Love my unicorns. I don't think I've ever shown you all. I have a unicorn tattoo. I have to show you guys. You open up the inside. That's what it looks like. Sorry about the glare. Then your backside is all blue. And it pisses me off. I'm going to bitch and moan right now. They put these on. This should be a sticker. Because this just ruins like the backside. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being anal. But... I just hate when they do that. Just like when they do the plastic cups. They shouldn't do that. Anyways, these are awesome. Not just for pens, pencils, barrettes. Uh, I use them, um, paper clips, everything. You can use makeup brushes. Love them. Had to get to another great idea for an Easter basket. I'm just saying. Okay, moving along, moving along. This one I had to keep rolled up in paper only because I didn't want to break it. If you remember or you watch my channel, I had hauled the pineapple in this multicolor. I found this little itty bitty trinket tray. Now I'm going to try to get the glare off. Now if you notice, look at all the purple that pops off of this. I love it. They are not big at all. They measure from the very top of the little pineapple down. It's not even barely two inches. And across, maybe two and a quarter. So it's not a big item. But you do have a lip inside of here where you could put a couple rings. Um, anything. You could put a couple rings right here on the top. I just thought, look at that color. And that's like true color coming through. It's not just the way the sun is hitting it. That is what it looks like just sitting they're so adorable. Again, <laughs> I'm going to stop saying Easter baskets because I'm going to make you all crazy. All right. I have so many good new things. Socks. Let's have some sock talk. Let's talk socks. We can never have enough socks. For those of you that have dogs, cats, animals, whatever, this one here with socks, I don't know. She's got a... Whew. Let's just say I wear them and lose them and then find them where she hides them. These are the women's ultra light, and this is two pairs. So two pairs of socks for a buck, and especially in the women's, I was shocked. In my area of New York, where I'm at, I never find women's socks. It's plenty of men, and yes, I could wear men's socks. Socks are socks. No one's going to say, are those for boys or girls? Who cares? They're socks. But when going down the sock aisles in our sections, it's all kids, which is fine. So when I see the women's socks, I snag immediately. These are really nice. So you get two pairs, ultra light, low cut socks. They're women's five to nine. And they feel really nice. They don't feel, I don't want to say cheap because I think cheap sometimes is just inappropriate. They don't feel inexpensive. You know, they're nice. So there was this with the white and then the blue heel. And then this side was all blue and there's like a little white here with blue so grabbed that right away i also found by the same company um same thing but in hot pink which i thought was so cool the white and then the pink heel and then the pink sock itself again these are for women's five through nine two pairs for a buck can't beat it this one 
It is also women's five through nine. Is this a different brand? This is a different, different brand. Okay. This one, again, two pairs, but check this out. We've got totally two kicking patterns. Love this polka dot. So, so cute. And then on the other side, I'm saying, you know, I thought they were chocolate chip cookies. They're not chocolate chip cookies. Brunette moment. I think they're little hedgehogs. At first look, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie, but I think it's a little hedgehog. I'm going to bring it in closer. Is that a little hedgehog? I don't know, but it's super cute. So anyways, two pairs. You can't beat that. Two pairs of socks for a buck. And when you got kids, or like I said, when you have dogs who love socks, you get them when you can. Okay. I could keep going, but you know what? <laughs> I can hear you guys going, no, don't stop. Don't stop. All right. I'll give you a couple more things here because there's no way I could keep going here. Vaseline has been around forever. Vaseline has two new brands out at Dollar Tree. The first one is original. And what this is, is Vaseline Lip Therapy. And this one is supposed to give your lips the feeling of freedom. It is a 4.8 ounce tube. This is the original Lip Therapy brand name. Um, again, 4.8 grams. It's a full size. There is an expiration date on it. The expiration date is, holy crud. No, that's not, looks like expires 2021. I, I'm due for an eye exam, so I'm so bad. Sorry, guys. And then the next one, same thing, but this one is in Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. So this one's got some tint to it. Again, full size. Expiration date, I'm not even going to go there and make you guys crazy. All righty. I'm going to say goodbye for now and turn right around and start another Dollar Tree haul. How's that sound? Any questions or comments, hit me up down below. Thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you back in just a little while. Bye.